What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of learning to code online. This past weekend I kind of just took a little break and shot a music video slash short film. I would love to put more effort into cinematography type stuff on this channel. Um, I'm just trying to think about how to mix that with coding. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave a little clip of what that looks like right here. So I'll leave the link in the description down below if you guys want to check out the rest of the whole video. It's one of my favorite music videos I've ever worked on. So one of my favorite projects. So I'm really happy about it. If you guys want to see kind of that side of me, um, you can check that out in the description. So starting out with the pros, obviously learning to teach yourself to code online is free. And that's the really biggest advantage, honestly, is that pretty much any topic, not pretty much any topic that you want to know about, you can research online and depending on how much you're willing to research, you can teach yourself a lot, a lot, so much. The next one is that it's super time efficient because you can obviously use the internet anywhere now, like from your phone. If you have Udemy courses, you could literally have the Udemy app on your phone or Kajabi or whatever e-learning platform you guys use. You could be using all those things on the fly with you anywhere, anytime. You don't have to just be you know, at a coffee shop with your laptop or you know, at home on your computer. You can be anywhere learning anytime it's super time efficient you know even in the middle of the night like i sleep really weird hours sometimes so even if there's just a night like on the weekend or something where you're just up really late and instead of binge watching something on netflix you want to just do some coding or you just want to like listen to some lectures or go through some lessons in a course you can do all that stuff whenever you want the third pro i would say about teaching yourself to code online is that there's a limitless number of resources so there's a teaching style for everybody. There's a course specific to every type of level of programmer, like complete beginner, intermediate, advanced, professional, super advanced. There's something out there for everybody. The fourth pro is that it's self-paced, uh, but I already kind of talked about that in number two about time efficiency. So again, self-paced, it can fit into your life. Uh, it can fit into your schedule if you have kids, if you have a job, if you sleep weird hours. Like I said, if you want to take breaks, you know, a couple days here and there in between, you can do all that because you don't have a, you know, a deadline. You don't have a teacher that's, you know, holding you accountable to certain things. You don't have uh, like quizzes and exams to pass and you don't have to pay for any of this stuff. So you can take your time and go at your own pace and that might help you feel like you're making more progress or better progress as opposed to feel like you're falling behind because you don't learn something quickly or as quickly as everybody else and then you can feel like you're falling behind or like you're not keeping up or like you're not getting it and that was what i struggled with my first maybe two weeks of coding boot camp felt like i was falling behind and other people were getting ahead of me and they understood things that i wasn't picking up on so the self-paced you know aspect of teaching yourself is is really good because you can constantly you know kind of feel like you're progressing at your own pace and you don't have to worry about keeping up with a, a teacher or other people and then the fifth pro of learning to code online is that there are huge online developer communities so whether these are forums chats discords slacks you know um, you name it there's just there's a website out there or a community of developers or people who are learning and asking questions stack overflow pretty much anywhere out there and there's people who are always always willing to help answer questions for newer developers and people who are trying to learn a language or a technology so learning to code online gives you access to you know countless people around the world countless different you know perspectives on problems and 
you know, questions that you might have. It's just, are you willing to get in those communities and actually like put your questions out there and talk to people and interact? But those things are out there. And I think it's a big advantage when you're teaching yourself to code online. Even when you're in a coding bootcamp, it's gonna be important to utilize those online communities still. All right, so let's get into the cons really quickly. I'll try to keep this short and just kind of like tick through these, but the, the first con is that there are so many resources that there's too many resources online. And I think that's the information overload that a lot of people experience when they're trying to teach themselves to code online is that they, they just kind of go down a rabbit hole and just take off learning a whole bunch of stuff like reading articles on this, on that. It's too much information and there's is too many perspectives and it's it's, it, to me, I think it's just like literally sensory overload. It's just, there's no way to really process or make sense of all the different information that's coming at you because articles are all written at different times and different resources, even books and courses come out at different times. And so what one person is telling you about a certain language might've been correct for that version or during that particular time in that language, there could have been there could have been updates, there could have been changes, there could have been new technologies introduced. And so when you're trying to do or learn like all these different things or from all these different resources, of course they're free or that you know, or they're very cheap if you're learning online, but still you could end up spending way more time just trying to troubleshoot and understand and make sense of what you're being taught. The second con is that there's no real individualized learning or teaching. Even though there's countless numbers of teachers and teaching styles and classes and formats and tutorials, still none of them can be absolutely personalized to you because you're not actually talking to those people, the, the course creator, the content creators. So when you're at a university or when you're at a coding bootcamp, at least you will have a teacher who can look you in the eye, talk to you, listen to your perspective, get an understanding for how you learn and they can try their best to tailor the answers or kind of guide you towards the help that you need to really learn and grasp the concept. So I think that's the, the biggest advantage of in-person learning with anything. Even if it's like one-to-one -one online coding bootcamp, but you have like one-to-one -one like visual FaceTime uh, with the teacher, I think that that is still you know considered personal personalized learning or teaching and that's the the big help um, the third thing is that help is less readily available when you're learning to code online so i think that's another big con is even though like i said you have these courses and tutorials and all this stuff but when you hit problems and you know errors in these tutorials or in these courses usually you're gonna have to send an email or like a chat message to somebody and wait for them to respond to you you're not gonna be able to just walk over to their desk or walk up to them and ask them a question or just ping them on a video call and they're just gonna pick up and answer you because they have a lot of other students and who knows, you know, if they're even supporting that class with, you know, Q and A type questions in one-to-one -one personal time. So I think that again, when you have a teacher who you can either talk to through like a video call or in a, a classroom setting, I think it's really helpful because they are readily available whenever you hit an error or something, instead of spending countless hours reading a bunch of articles and, and maybe even screwing up more things on your machine or like messing up your project even more, you can at least go get the problem solved right away, find out what you, cause it might've been something simple. So you could just go get that solved right away and then, or at least get put on the right track, the right direction right away and then not spend so much time, like I said, going down a rabbit hole and just going through that painful learning process. The fourth con I would say about learning to code online is that there's bigger gaps in between the aha moments. The only reason why I say that is because you don't have that perspective of someone right there to give you feedback on the progress you're making and how your code is developing and comparing that to industry standards or job expectations and a lot of different like insight, professional insight that you could get from somebody who's worked in the industry and now is just a teacher and wants to help other people get ready to be, you know, professional developers. So just with that perspective missing, you'll still have big aha moments, but I think it would, it, it happens more often when you have someone right there to kind of like guide you through uh, certain processes. It's a little hard to explain, but um, it'll make more sense. Like it just, it's just better to have somebody who can who can give you feedback in real time than kind of 
you making connecting the dots yourself the fifth con of learning to code online um at least for me is that you could learn to practice bad habits so again you just don't have the the human interaction which is was going to be my my next con but i'm just going to loop that into this one to wrap up the video without having the human interaction there's no one there to correct your mistakes and so you could learn to just practice really bad habits it could be spaghetti code it could be um smelly code you can learn a lot of bad habits with just teaching yourself things online and once it works it works and not learning how to properly refactor certain things or write unit testing or integration testing like if if you don't actually get that experience up front you might just not do it and get excited that your software is working and just start relying on that and you know that comes with its own learning and its own lessons but again it's just if you have someone there to tell you certain things up front you can learn how to do things the right way from the beginning if that makes sense and then that would just be the the way you know to do things going forward and that's usually what will be expected of you when you go to a job so it's better to kind of learn it the correct way first the foundation instead of having to kind of go retrain your brain once you've already kind of gotten the habit of building software a certain way but make sure you guys check out the description box down below i'm giving on my free intro to coding bootcamp course it has everything in there i wish i knew before i went to my coding bootcamp um, and all it costs is your email address. Also, if you guys are looking for other people to learn how to code with and just a support group, you can check out the description box down below to join my free private Facebook group where I give away all the additional resources that I think are great for beginners. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to keep making these videos for you guys. This is Darian with Darian the Dev, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.